Hey, you live to fish peeps. Just wanted to let you know the title of this video is going to be Get What You Pay For, but I'm not going to title it that. Just like you, everything that I have in my fishing arsenal, I have paid for personally. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't push you with affiliate links. And again, not that there's anything wrong with that. A lot of YouTubers are sponsored by people. Um, they are affiliated with different companies and good for them. I'm not. I spend my own money on my own products and I give you honest and open reviews. Just like you, I work hard for my money and every dollar counts. Now I have a fishing budget, probably go over it just like you do, but uh, on that note, um, there are companies that I trust and uh, sometimes they break that trust. So with that being said, uh, let's get on to the video. Welcome back to Live to Fish. We have another unboxing here. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us out at the lake today. I know we didn't catch anything, but uh, it was still a good time. Uh, in case you didn't notice, go back and look at that video, because I think if I would have remembered to set the drag correctly, I might have caught something. So that's something very important that I did not go over in that video is setting the drag. Once you've loosened it up for the off-season, make sure you tighten it up before you cast out. So let's get to the unboxing. Okay, one of the first packages we got today was from Amazon. Let's open this up and take a look at what we got here. No multi-tool needed today. Excellent. And we have... This is a rod storage rack. This holds 16 rods. Now, if you are in the market for a rod holder, something very important to keep track of, when it says it holds 16 rods, it holds 16 rods. It does not hold 16 combos. In other words, if you have the reel on the rod, it doesn't hold 16 rod and reels. It only holds 8. So whatever the number is for the rod holder, divide that in half. That's going to tell you how many you need for your combos. So, for all my combos, the 16 rod holder did not do it. I had to get two 16 rod holders, so 32 rod holders, well, two 16 rod holders. And essentially now I have enough to cover me for probably another couple weeks, but we won't get into that. So, anyway, so yeah, so now I have uh, adequate rod storage for the meantime, but uh, we'll see because we got another box. And in this box is... Something I purchased from American Legacy Outdoor Fishing. I don't know if any of you have ever purchased from American Legacy. I personally have not. This is my first purchase. Um, but they had an outstanding deal on a Shimano SLX combo. This normally retails for just over $200. The reel and rod separately alone are roughly around $99 to a little over $100 a piece. Um, this combo however, was on sale for $169 shipped. So, quite an outstanding value for a Shimano bait casting combo, if you ask me. So let's take a look and see what's inside. All right, just give a little pop here. Get the cap off this. And we have, we have enough room here. Make sure I don't take out the ceiling tiles. Should be good. All right, well packaged. Got some bubble wrap on the end. Very nicely packaged. And again, these tubes are a lot better than cardboard boxes. I hate ordering rods. And they end up being delivered in a cardboard box that's all smashed or broken half to where we now have a two-piece rod. And it's supposed to be one-piece rod. And you have to wait for uh, both the return to go through and process and get your new rod in the mail. But, looks like uh, American Fishing, American Legacy, Fishing and Outdoors has their act together when it comes to shipping rods. Get all this plastic off here. Okay, so this is the Shimano SLX bait casting rod. As you can kind of see by the color scheme there, a little black and blue, very sharp. And there's the SLX. Here's the stats on the rod. And it is a, in case it didn't come through right, so here I go with the ceiling tiles. And again, it is a seven foot, two inch, medium heavy. 
action is extra fast on the tip. Um, this one has a line rating of 10 to 20 pound test, and that's for uh, monofilament. Um, lure rating is a quarter to three quarters an ounce, so it's just in line with what I want to do with some of my jigging. And uh, it does have the micro eyelets, if you can see those. And very, 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 very nice rod. Very lightweight. And let's take a look in the tube and see if we got the reel. Should be in there. Let's take a look. I'm gonna shake it. I don't see anything else coming out of here. Could it be? Hello? Hello? Nope. There's no reel in here. So I bought a combo. I got the rod, but no reel. So a little concerned about the deal I got. I'm going to have to check up and uh, follow up with them, and I'll let you know. So for right now, uh, American Legacy, fishing and outdoors. When you buy a combo, or when you ship out a combo, ship out the combo, not just the rod. I kind of need the reel to go with it, but uh, we'll see. Maybe it's coming in the mail in a separate package with a separate tracking number that they didn't give me. We will find out. But... I also have something else very special that I want to show you from PC Fun, and that is coming up in just one second. Okay, so funny story on the way to the mailbox just now with the American Legacy Fishing Outdoor combo that I purchased. The shipping number, the tracking number rather, on the package is correct. Okay, so I did receive that package. However, they did not give me a tracking number for the second package, which just now, I just went and checked the mail because it did get delivered, and they did ship the reel in a separate package with a tracking number, but they never sent that to me in a confirmation of my email. I checked my order number in my account, and there's only one tracking number, and it's the tracking number for the rod. So, just a word of warning. So, if you order from American Legacy Fishing and Outdoors, you may get one tracking number for two packages. You may get two tracking numbers. I don't know. I don't know if it was just a fluke with me. I will converse with them in email and uh, try to find out why that happened and see if I can't uh, get that corrected from the future. Will I order from them again? Absolutely. I mean, I definitely liked the way that they packaged that rod. Um, but let's take a look at the reel. So, this just came. I'm sitting on the porch just now. And... Let's see how this goes. This is the Shimano SLX bait casting reel. And not bad. Shipping's pretty decent. It could be wrapped in bubble wrap, which is just kind of wedged in there. But overall, the cardboard does protect the box, so I think we'll be okay. It's the SLX 150XG. And here is the let me find the uh, correct listing for the stats here. It's going to tell you it's an 8.2 to 1 ratio. It uh, only has four bearings, 3 plus 1, but again, we got into the bearings in another video. I'm um, not too concerned about that, but here's the stats. So you can see that. For the Shimano SLX. Let's take a look at this sucker. Now, I'm hoping... What I had happen with another company doesn't happen where I get the left-handed retrieve reel versus the right-handed. And again, packaging inside the box, decent. Got some bubble wrap on there. Oh, this is a sharp looking reel. Wow, that's nice looking. All right, there you go. Let's hold that right side up so you can see it. The Shimano SLX. That is a sharp profile in that. Loosen up the tension knob a little bit. There we go. So there you have it, the Shimano SLX combo, medium heavy. Let's go ahead and mount that on the rod, shall we? All right, so we got it right. 
was the right-handed reel. So we got the right product. Got no complaints there. Pretty decent shipping too. Took all of about, I think it was four days. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's not too bad. Ooh, and there we go. That's what she looks like. All set up. Not too bad. All right, so I'm eager to get that one on the uh, on the water. Take a look. I really like that uh, the black and blue accents, though. I don't know if you can see that. It's really sharp. Really good looking. Okay. All right, so that's the Shimano SLX combo. 169 ship from American Legacy Fishing and Outdoors. Very nice. All right, on to the next one. All right, another one from one of my favorites. PC Fun. Now, as uh, I've said before, I have a couple of the PC Fun torrent reels, bait casting reels, and I also have um, the BFS Spark as well from PC Fun. So, I really like their products. They're really decently priced. Okay, here we have it. PC Fun, right handed reel. This one is a 7.6 to 1 ratio, and it has uh, eight bearings. And here's the stats on this one for you. If you can see that. And again, this is the uh, PC Fun Phantom. Phantom X. Let's take a look inside the box here. Ooh, wrapped a little bit differently than their uh, than their previous reel, like the torrent and the spark that I got from them. No bubble wrap, but that's all right. Like in plastic, and again, good good complement to the SLX. The SLX has that blue profile. This one's red. All right. Too bad. Boy, those red accents are nice. Carbon fiber, I guess you'd call it on the uh, crank handle there. That's sharp. So again, this is the PC Fun Phantom X. Now, the PC Fun Phantom X, and you're going to see the same thing with the, uh, the SLX reel. Um, here's the latch to open up to get into the braking system. I'm assuming you just I'm assuming you just push in and pull for the braking system like their other models. I'm trying to work the latch and it's not coming open. So the latch here is not working, so I'm going to have to get a hold of PC Fun on this. Okay, both the PC Fun Phantom X and also the Shimano SLX have an internal. Get this one around here. Have an internal brake system, so you don't have that external dial. This one you have a little latch on the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. You open and close it. And this just pops up and open. And you can set the braking system there. So that's pretty nice. Pop them in to put the brakes on. Pop out to turn them off. So I'll have to get that dialed in right. Just set the latch to close. You can see that latch there. But it's kind of different. Some of the reels are starting to come out with uh, systems like that where their internal braking systems uh, don't have external dials. Um, I purchased these both in the same fashion for a reason because I wanted to test them out. I'm not necessarily a big fan of that. I want to test it out and see what it's like. Um, but I like having the accessibility of the braking system without having to open the reel up to get at it. 
I like to have that right at my fingertips to do the fine tuning adjustments. Um, you saw my previous video where I'm tuning everything in. It just makes more sense to have an external dial to make it a little bit easier so you're not having to open that up and potentially pop out the spool. Um, again, just my preference, but uh, I think it might be most people's preference. We'll see how it goes though. Here's a side-by-side -side profile comparison. Um, but as far as uh, pricing goes, you're talking about $99 and you're talking about uh, $44 here. So a little bit of difference. Maybe that's why the door doesn't open. Not really sure. So my intention for the PC Fun Phantom X reel is to pair it up with the Halo Starlight rod that I got from uh, Walmart. $160 rod, picked it up for 60 bucks. And uh, again, this is a uh, also a medium heavy seven foot in length. Let's take a look and see what the reel looks like on there. I think this is gonna look pretty good. Again, I'll say it again, black and red can never go wrong. I love those Deadpool colors, right? So that is it. Mounted and ready to go. With the exception of the braking system, but it will take care of that. And that's it. The Phantom X by PC Fun. And it's uh, paired with the Halo Starlight. So. Can't wait for it to get a little warmer, get those fish in, and uh, start hitting them at the shoreline. The pre-spawn is almost here, folks. It's almost here. So close. All right, so that's all I have for this weekend. That's two videos for one weekend. Plenty of entertainment for you. You can watch them as many times as you like. Do me a favor, though. Please, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And please like this video if you are a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for your support. Really appreciate it. Um, we have gone exponentially from having nobody to the channel to having over 50 subscribers now. So I really appreciate all your support. The way YouTube's algorithms work is that I don't get viewers coming to the channel unless you view it, unless you like it, and unless you subscribe. And even it helps when you put comments down below. Tell me what you want to see in future videos. I have one coming up for beginners that kind of go through what you should start out with if you're just getting into fitness. Sorry for that abrupt ending. Um, the battery on the GoPro died. Put it through too many paces today, too many videos, and uh, definitely got to do some charging. So what I was trying to say is I have some uh, videos in mind. Uh, do me a favor, leave some comments for me and tell me what you want to see. Until next time, be safe, be well, take care of yourself, and... Uh, Live to fish. Take care.